Hello fellow engineers and welcome to North End. This is a game by North End Studios. You're probably a fan of the football team at Preston North End. The only football team that has a PP on their badge, despite their name only having one P in it. But yes, these guys have obviously seen I have a roguelite addiction. So they've sent me their own one. So thank you for the key. This one's sort of a tower defense game. But look, these are the levels. Ignore the spelling of choose there. <laughs> Chosse, a battlefield. Uh, so we'll play both of these, but let's start on this one and I'll just show you how the game works. And with it being a roguelike, we get upgrades for how long we've played it. Now, I've already earned 2,324 HP, so we can unlock a few of these extra towers. I quite fancy the most expensive one, a mortar. Let's buy one of those. We got 400 left, so we can't afford anything. But I think after this round, we should have enough to buy another tower or two. So let's start. But first, a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Age of Origins. Age of Origins, you don't pronounce the Z, is a super addictive war strategy game on iOS and Android that combines some of my favourite genres, such as city building and tower defence. Set in a world where a zombie apocalypse have pushed humanity to the brink of extinction, you must build your base while upgrading your technology in order to defend yourselves against waves of oncoming zombie attacks. You can trade resources on the black market and heal these women, who are definitely dressed for a zombie apocalypse, in return for them exploring and bringing you back resources. You can recruit and upgrade soldiers, unlock huge titans which can also be upgraded. If you join an alliance, you can help other players and challenge elite zombies, like this two-headed zombie bear, and gain an insane rewards. There's a huge map full of other players and if you find another player's city you can evade and steal some of their resources. But careful, they can do the same to you. Download Age of Origins for free using my link below and new players will also get a free gift. Thanks to Age of Origins for supporting today's video. But let's get back to the video. And this is actually one of the enemies we'll be facing. An armored unit who has a lot of health. Regardless, he is weak against snipers. So good to know. Unfortunately, we don't have any snipers. All right, so this is the battlefield. We can zoom around. And essentially, we are defending this end. We've got this trench here. So this is our commander. We've got to protect him at all costs. And then the enemies will be attacking from where the arrows are, surprisingly. So top left, this is our commander health. This is our coins that we can buy units with. Every kill we get, we gain some more coins. And this is what wave we're on. Down here, this really, really small small thing. These are where we can buy our units. As I say, this game's in very, very early access. Hopefully they'll add some of that. I mean, it doesn't even have scroll wheel to zoom in and out. You've got to use Z and X and look how slow it is. <laughs> oh, it takes so long to zoom in and out. Although I've just spotted a British flag. Yay. So we've got soldier vehicles and planes and sadly the vehicles and planes, they're not added to the game yet. Uh, we've only got soldiers for now. And then this is where our troop upgrades get stored. So bottom right, our commander, he doesn't just sit in his car doing nothing. We actually gain commander points, which we can use for these four little buttons. So we can drop mines, we can bring in some airborne troops, we can bomb the place, and we can put some barbed wire down, which slows the enemies. And then after every wave, we get an upgrade. And to start, I would massively recommend going with the troop. In a previous run, I decided to take one of the other ones, and then I just didn't have any troops, so I lost straight away. <laughs> So yeah, we'll take them first. And literally, we can just plop them around. You can see their range. So we're just going to spend our coins. We've got over a thousand to play with. So that's like 10 troops, pretty much. And you can see the enemy are attacking. I might just rotate a little bit. Shove one down there. All right, and we're on to wave two already. And here are the upgrades we get to pick. Now, there's no pause. And even when we pick an upgrade, the game still carries on very slowly. Oh, I might take the mortar. We haven't used the mortar yet. So let's grab him. He costs 250 quid, but uh, hopefully works. It. I might shove him behind those guys. All right, one up this end behind the box. It may be behind those boxes. Keep him safe. And then we'll shield him with more troops. Yeah, I'm then going to take the scoped rifle, which gives our guys better accuracy. So I think the better accuracy we have, the quicker we'll kill enemies. So I'm just going to lay a load of troops down. We've now spent all of our money, but we've got some commander points. So I'm going to do the airborne units, and that will give us two new people. I just plonk them down there. You can see this plane down the bottom. This is going to drop our troops. Uh, and you can also see coming in, look Check out the wobbly bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're only wobbly because we paused the game, but uh, let's give our guys a bigger radius and you'll see as these guys come in, they're basically like suicide bombers, suicide bikers. Is that the right term? Uh, oh, let's give our M1 guys double the magazine. They can shoot twice as fast or at least for twice as long before reloading. Sounds good to me. And I might, once we have the coins, put another mortar guy down here. Right, next up, I'm going to get some more troops. Where do we want these to go? Maybe there? And then I'm going to start putting some mines down. So you can can literally put these anyway. You can literally like put it right in front of that guy and boosh. He exploded. <laughs> he went flying. <laughs> uh, the bombers is best to save them and barbed wire. 
They cost a lot, 800 commander points. Haven't really had too much luck with those. Uh, but it's the end of the next round. I might do 200 coins just so I can put another mortar down and put him back there. An M1 guy in front of him, sort of there. And if we watch this mortar, it's coming down. Oh, and the enemy's already dead. There's no one there. All right, next up, artillery strikes pretty good, but it's better to wait until you've got loads of enemies on screen. Although there are quite a few coming in. Still, I think I'm better off just doing the parachuting troops and that gives us more guys back here so we're going to keep putting m1 guys down we really want to make sure the mortars don't get hit right, and then what's the battlefield looking like it's quite full of the bazooka people although i think we're taking them out i'm just going to do coins we're going to put another mortar down and then loads of m1s another one in there there's quite a few enemies coming now oh look at the mortar damage oh look and these are the armored dudes so they will take a bit more of a beating now if we had unlocked a sniper they're apparently weak to that as we saw in that loading screen uh, they're probably weak to a mine as well so if i just plonk that in front of him if if you're watching slow motion, boosh! <laughs> <laughs> in your face. Uh, now there's a lot of enemies on screen. I'm going to do the artillery. This just laces the battlefield in explosions, basically. And then the next upgrade, I'm going to... I could do a medic. No, I think we'll just parachute more troops. We'll just replace. We don't want to heal people. And yeah, our artillery it proper cleared the area. So pretty good that. We will take that indeed. All right, I think another mortar. Uh, I need to start getting some landmines down. Let's blow up those two hench dudes. Oh, it didn't do a lot. It didn't do a lot. I think just keep parachuting troops in is the key. If we can overwhelm them, we should be good. They are making holes in our defense. I'll tell you that. Let's get another landmine down. Where should we put this one? Maybe those two. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as there's so many enemies, I'm going to give it another artillery strike and then try and fill up my trench with troops. We are a bit short. Oh my god, there's so many people coming. Right, I'm going to I'm going to do this one. This is a bomb, sort of like a bombing run. I'm going to get some mines down as well. So this plane here, if you keep an eye on him, he will drop some mines. I'm going to do another artillery strike. So he's going to drop some bombs. Ready? You can see them dropping. All the enemies have gone from there, though, basically. <laughs> Oh, that was a little bit of a waste. All right, we're going to parachute some troops in. You can see how thin our defenses are now. I think we need some mortars just to try and thin it out. And then we need loads of M1s. Oh, I wish there was a pause button. It's so fast. Let's get some landmines down in there. Boosh. Uh, more coins because I want another mortar. Oh, man, there's so many people coming. We've got another. We've got another bomber. So we'll do that. More mines. More mortars. Oh, God. Give me more coins. Oh, no. Right now, our commander is taking hits. I can't even keep up with this. It's can't. No, it's way too many. We lost. Oh, it goes from, like, zero to hell so quickly. Yeah, but you can see, like, how the upgrading works. So we gained 548 HP. We also unlocked some new upgrades. So we can unlock, as one of our upgrade options, a fast reload for our mortar. And once we kill 190 more people with our M1s, we get another upgrade. We're not sure what that one is yet. All right, so let's try this other map. This is like the Normandy beach landing, but this time you're defending, you're not attacking. And we've got 900 HP, so we could either go for the bicycle guys, send our own bicycles out, or we can grab a machine gun. I think machine gun could be useful. So we'll grab you. And you can also see on here all the upgrades. Ah, so you can actually see what's next. Our M1 guys will gain grenades. That will be very nice and yeah so essentially this game the more you play it the better you'll do anyway let's have a go at this level what is that face that is terrifying that's like the scariest armor i've ever seen right so we're gonna select the m1s and we're gonna just lace a load of them down uh, on this level you'll notice we've got bunkers behind us they actually shoot machine guns there you go look at those guys getting nailed now i'm gonna spin this way as well and we're gonna upgrade our accuracy for our rifles so yeah this level a little bit easier i found just purely because the bunkers and machine guns behind you. Uh, we're going to gain some parachuting troops. They should land in and join the guys. You can see them in this plane. They will jump out. There they go. So they're sort of in the middle, I think. And then you can see just the waves of enemies coming from the boats. Uh, I think we'll we'll upgrade our M1 guys to have a bigger radius. Oh, I just got rocketed. Two of them did. He's rolling about. He's in pain. Oh, and that guy. <laughs> Where's he off to? All right, we're going to have to replace the hole in the wall there. Oh, and up this end. Lots of trouble. That bicycle guy just got nailed by machine gun. Uh, speaking of machine gun, let's upgrade our own one. So they cost 300. Quite a lot. You can see how their range sort of works. Uh, they can 
only shoot forwards really so i think we'll plonk one up there and then we'll try and protect this area by laying some mines down maybe we'll do some paratroopers in the middle now, i wouldn't mind a machine gun at either end let's get some more parachuting troops we do have a gap in the middle thankfully our bunker's doing the business and there you go we got another machine gun so i'm gonna shove this guy about there decent i might should i unlock the mortar this time probably should i think they'll come in useful i'm also gonna put another machine gun down the middle because then we've got machine gun all the way along so if we just combine them with with these paratroopers hopefully that will be good we really need some more coins if there's an upgrade to take more coins i might take that next but uh, the machine guns are definitely doing the damage enemies aren't getting close at the moment all right we could go with some medics i'm sort of tempted to go with maybe the m1s double magazines and they're the ones that are always paratrooping in oh look machine gun fire they just took a big hole out of our defenses so we'll replace those guys we'll paratrooper in some over there oh and look the guys with the the armor are taking damage we might want to put some mines down we got a lot of commander points actually perhaps it's worth using some so let's parachute some troops in maybe we'll get some mortars now if we put mortars in the middle they can sort of see the entire level parachute more guys in and what upgrade shall we do let's just par let's just keep parachuting people in we've really got to cover these up and i'm going to plonk a mine down there blow up those two. Oh god oh god look at the hole the hole in our defense over here we've got to get another machine gun down i think up there and then i'm gonna keep parachuting troops in we got a load of troops in the middle let's get another machine gun there you know no one's shooting that guy i've just i just mined him for some reason he was doing damage to our base no one could see him so let's get some m1s there oh they're parachuting right on top of us that is not good right more mines we might want to consider using our bomber down here you know let's keep the troops coming let's do a bomber run along there hopefully take out those bazookas depending on how long they take ready bomber run coming in Oh, it hit. It hit one troop. They all moved. Damn it. All right, 200 coins. We've lost all of our machine guns, so we're going to replace those. And then we're going to put some M1s down. All right, more troops. More mines up there. Is it worth artillerying the battlefield? There's not too many enemies, but I think there's quite a lot coming. So maybe we'll do that in anticipation of what's about to happen. Oh, this is brutal. All right, more paratroopers in the middle. Oh, up the top. That's not good. All right, I'm going to artillery because there's a lot of enemies. I'm also going to shove some M1s up there. Come on, defend, defend. I shove a landmine down on them as well. Boosh. And then I think we've lost our mortars. So we have to replace them in the middle. That's not ideal. Oh, we are getting mullered. Right, bombing run up there more paratroopers let's get 200 coins and then we can buy a machine gun nest to go there because we've just lost that one more mines in the middle boosh more m1s oh it's gone crazy it's gone crazy we've still got a fair amount of health left though 484 we start with 500 boosh have some of that oh no oh no there's so many enemies in the middle machine gun nest oh look at the health going down the health is going down so much uh artillery strike we need some mines to blow up these people bombing run <laughs> no more m1s Ones, more m1s all right landmines i'm gonna bonk them on those two yes we blew them both up i think we've just about saved ourselves get paratroopers down there another machine gun nest there artillery the battlefield we've only got 20 health that's the end of the round that's so hard so we got to wave 13 that time uh we did unlock a load of new upgrades though and 500 hp so not enough to upgrade anything yet but as you can see the more you play this the more you unlock super addictive super fun and they're only going to add more stuff so yeah that was north end hope you guys enjoyed peace love and pp football badges bye guys